Hi, I'm Camila Mendez, and I'm gonna give you some advice today. Can I just get into it? Okay. My friend is always late to meet me whenever we have plans. It drives me crazy. Should I just start being late for our plans as well? Punctual from NYC. Listen, Punctual, I'm late to a lot of things. I'm guilty of that. And I don't do it on purpose. I'm genuinely just awful at estimating how long it takes me to do things. I'm not proud of it, but I'm also like, what is time, you know? Like, time is just, it's relative, it doesn't matter. It's just like, show up when you're ready. It's probably terrible advice, but after years and years of trying to be on time to things, I can't say that I ever am. What do you do if you accidentally like a crush's Instagram? Double tap happy from Virginia. I once, I mean, back when like I had a Facebook, I commented on a guy's page thinking it was his friend's page because I was stalking him. And I commented on his friend's page and I was like, we never hang out anymore. But like I, this guy and I have never hung out before. So it was really <laughs> embarrassing and I just owned it. If I delete it, like he's gonna see there's a notification and then it was deleted and like, then it's just weird. I might as well just let it out there. I have nothing to lose. And then he actually ended up being like, oh my God, you're right. We should definitely hang out. So now he's all up in my DMs. <laughs> my boyfriend and I just got a new puppy and we are both big fans of Riverdale. What should we name our new pup? Archie or Jughead? Team Veronica from Arizona. Definitely Archie. I can't imagine being like, Jughead. Archie's like, Archie. Like it's a cute little, you know, but Jughead is, it's not a cute name. No one should have that name. My boyfriend never posts pictures of me on Instagram. I don't think he's doing it on purpose to look single, but it still makes me feel like he's trying to hide me. What do I do or say pictureless from California? So I understand the concern, but also like it's Instagram. You don't need to like post about your relationship on Instagram. It's a private thing shared between two people. But if it really does bother you, then just like tell him that because it's your truth, speak your truth. I think it's better to just be honest, even if you do feel a little embarrassed about it, than to deny the way that you feel. If he's your boyfriend, he should understand the kind of person you are. And if you care about that, then maybe he should consider posting pictures of you. Just saying. I have a job interview coming up and I always am a bit awkward. Any advice on how to make a better first impression? I feel like your first impression is always gonna be a little different than who you are. Don't be so hard on yourself is what I'm trying to say. That being said, when I'm getting interviewed, I tend to freeze up. Like I, I get really uncomfortable when people are asking me like a lot of questions, but I've just kind of learned to imagine the situation as if I'm having a conversation with my friend and how I would respond to them because people respond to authenticity and, and somebody will know if you're trying to be somebody that you're not. You can smell that from a mile away. So if you feel like you're qualified for the job, that's all you need. You don't need to defend yourself past that.